Hi, Carla. Carla from Moreno Brothers. So we're here looking at, we're recording, and we're looking at this unapplied cash payment income. They are all appeared as negative, and I wonder why. Do you know why is that? What 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 did you find when you went into the accounting books? What what is it that um, you were well that, uh, So a lot of the payments that I had posted previously, they're now um, coming up as unapplied to to my um, you know customers. So if I go in there now, it says that you know, and these are some of them could be old payments that we've received, but then they said that you know. It's showing the invoice that's being open, but then there's an unapplied um, payment. Yeah, this needs to be fixed because it should be applied. It's not, I mean, if it is a payment that came to the bank account, it should not be unapplied, it should be there. And what it, okay, discounts, you did give some discounts? 7,000? Yes, mm -hmm. You did that? Yes, we did. Okay. Billable expense income. Why is this on a different category than sales? What are these? Be, uh, okay. Permanent boards. These are invoices. This should be part of sales. This is Vaquero construction. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that is. Invoice 1192 on January 5. So there are two amounts on one invoice. I'm just pointing out things that we need to fix because how could be that the invoice has two amounts? That is wrong right away. And if it is on billable expense income when it should be on sales, so you gave a discount to UC Construction, Daniel Rook, and JMS Contracting, is that correct? Yes. All right, so that's correct. I'm glad. I'm, I'm worried about this unapplied cash payment income because you said these were sales. Yes. So why are, are they negative and why are they unapplied? We're recording. Okay, so I have had to go back and actually dig through my receivables to correct this. Well, I don't want you to correct them. Uh, let me send this to my team for them to look at this. That's why we're recording this part. So, so, so that that to me is an error. Um. Because, you know, for actually one of our expenses for JAM is one of our biggest suppliers. There was actually some transactions from 2018 that then all of a sudden they come up as, um, you know, open when they have been paid a long time ago, almost a year ago. Open? Yeah, they were coming up as open. Mm -hmm. So if you go to uh, my expenses and to our vendor JAM services, yeah. You know, all of a sudden I have some open invoices there. Expenses. For the vendor. Vendors. Jam. Jam right. services here. This one's? Um, no, go down. So it's going to be some from 2018. Unless I cleared them already because... 2018. Oh, just right here, like that 11,000, for example, from mm -hmm. February. All of that, everything with this account, I we're up to date, you know, I could assure you from August to now. So everything that's showing open right now from before August, like January 23rd, 2019, those are all payments that have been made to them already. And for some reason, they're coming out now as I still owe them because i don't know what happened to my payment or where it went so this one for example the august 20 23rd to jam says make a payment no that one's fine that, one's that fine. one i know we still owe anything before august has already been cleared so anything that is showing open before august of this year has been closed 
has been paid. Okay. So, so, so now, now I have these payments that are popping up that I owe them and saying that I owe them. And so that's why I, what I mean that I've had to go through my invoices, you know, take out the file and make sure that, yes, we did pay them. I don't know why they're coming out as not paid. So what I don't understand also is why some of this appear as a negative. These are all payments. This should all be negative like a minus 10,000, right? Mm -hmm. But here we have a positive 10,000, for example. Why is it positive? If it, if it appears as positive, then it's not counted as an expense. It's income. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So yeah, this- so I've had to go back and delete some stuff and correct it, so. So what we need to do is to go, for example, here, you said February 28th to make a payment. This 11,000, this was paid. That was paid. So now I have to go back through my books, dig out that bill and find out how I paid them and when I paid them. Well, you think you paid the entire, the same exact amount? Yeah. And if it was reconciled, we found it in the reconciliation statement. It should be there. What I don't understand is why some of these appear as negative and other as positive. I think the negatives are have been check payments. I don't know. Right. But Those they all are different dates. But they're all negative mm -hmm. because they're all a payment of a bill is always something that you take out from the bank account. So here, I see that only the checks appear as negative, mm -hmm. but why the other transactions appear as positive? So how did you pay them if it's not a check? Did you pay them as an online bill transaction? No, never. I always pay them through check. So what are these other payments that are this little thing needs? Let's go, let's, let's see. You know, it's funny because, so those two invoices, the one that's to open right there on, on the 28th. Yeah. And the other one that's open for um, January 23rd. Yeah. Those were paid under the same, under the same check. So these two, the two amounts were in one check, the 11562 yeah. plus the 3883 mm -hmm. was one check. Mm -hmm. Maybe this check is not reconciled, maybe? maybe well, we what I'm thinking is that it's reconciled, but under the unapplied. Oh. But see, that's what I mean. All of these transactions had already been um, paid. Had been, yeah, they had already been entered. So right. when reconciling the bank account, you're going to see the 15 there that should match to the jam instead of having to apply it un unapplied. Yeah, yeah. So it's a matching thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it should have matched. But for example, this, for example, this 900 and 89 is positive june 5. how did you pay this did, it does not say that it was paid with a check yeah if you open that up on this slide open that up on the blue over there where it says one payment made open it up on the blue one payment made it should show you the check number right there there you go. One three eight four. And I'll show you the date that it was paid on eight twenty five. Right. It's because your photo, your I'm looking at your screen. <laughs> your your head is right was right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, but this one appears. My point is that this one appears as positive. If it is a payment, it should be negative. 
the check that appears is negative but this is a check also so why is not appearing as a check all these are very important questions i'm bringing them to my team because because in my opinion this needs to be fixed because mm -hmm. this is what is throwing off your expenses carla because if you have po uh, positive and negative expenses means that are not all counting as an expense and then you have three hundred thousand dollar profit and it's not true because you don't have that in your bank so so i'm glad that we're meeting and i'm glad that we're fixing this right now and we're not waiting to the last day of the year mm -hmm. yeah yeah we have some time and we're fixing this right now and and it's a process clearing up um uh, and reconciling bank accounts and all that accounting books it's a long process and it's very tedious and has to be done accurate and i see no accuracy when we have expenses either as positive or as negative to me this is this is an error and we will go to the bottom of this and we will fix them don't worry there's okay. nothing to worry about it. So, so I think that might be the reason why we don't see all the expenses uh, counting in your profit and loss. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad that we looked at the reconciliation report and I see that um, there are a lot of reconciliations were done and there, those ones that are done means that they're accurate because the expense matches the bank and all that. And that's great. But we still have unapplied payments, unapplied expenses. We have expenses that are positive and negative. So, so I will ask you to please not to start deleting or changing until we look into this and we try to make sense and match. And, and for example, with this jam service, you said the only one that is not paid is this one that says make a payment, but correct. the other ones are all paid, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems like this February 28 is an error. And, and also- Those two were paid under the same check. Yeah, so that, that might be a clue on how to fix it. Okay, all right. And so, and about the bank account, um that's an owner draw when it was deposits to jorge correct okay so that's the answer to the question those owner draw deposits and you understand that owner draws are always income correct they yes. count as income because it's like yeah, a and that's not, they're on payroll now but they're all on payroll now yes Awesome, Carla! You put them on payroll. Everybody. I think in August. But not just the wives, also the owners. Yes. <gasps> Yay! Everybody's on payroll now. That is a great achievement. That that is fabulous. Good job, Carla. Good job. Yeah. And and the withholding is a correct amount of withholding. Yes. Perfect. All right. All right. So is so the other thing I see is that we need to do the September reconciliation and and right now we are in October because here I see all the September is not done. Yeah. So we have 255 transactions to do, which is nothing compared to what we had in the beginning. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. But there's a lot of things that needs to be fixed still. Okay. Great. Great, Carlita. So I'm going to stop the recording unless you want to add more. Is there anything else that you want to add? Because this will be watched by, by my team. Okay. No, I think that's it. That was just my biggest thing, the, the unapplied ones and the payments that are showing up as have not been paid. Right, and also that in the profit and loss appears a profit of three hundred thousand, and the the checking account has sixty three thousand. Yeah. So, so I see that issue is because 
because some expenses are positive and negative and the ones that are positive really are counting as income instead of counting as an expense. So that's okay. why. That's why. Okay. Um, in in a in a ideal world, also the amount on QuickBooks needs to match with the amount in the checking account, okay. mm -hmm. and that is never ha has never happened. And I think this is this is. Um, remember when we called and they didn't give us an answer on QuickBooks, but but I think it's because of a prior year. Um, balance in the account I guess mm -hmm. but but I will ask my team to try to fix this and try to make those two match okay because it cannot be that in QuickBooks is 200 and two, 200 yeah, it, it just doesn't make any sense but maybe at the end of the reconciliation of of September things maybe are uh, matching a little bit better hopefully mm -hmm. hopefully okay mm -hmm. I'm, I'm stopping the the recording, recording. stop recording.